I was deeply disappointed by President Trump's decision last week to start the process for withdrawing the United States from the Paris Agreement, an agreement signed by every sovereign nation except Syria and Nicaragua. Nicaragua, by the way, because they thought the agreement didn't go far enough. The decision will ultimately be viewed, the decision by President Trump, to pull out of the Paris Climate Accord will be viewed as one of the worst decisions of the 20th century, 21st century because of the huge damage it will do to our economy, our environment, our geopolitical standing. Pulling out of the Paris Agreement doesn't put America first. It puts America alone and last. It puts America last in recognizing science, in being a world leader in protecting our own communities, and working in concert with the family of nations in safeguarding the planet we all inhabit for future generations. Climate change is an issue where time, unfortunately, is not on our side. Every year, we don't work towards lowering our carbon emission standards is another year of irrevocable damage to the environment. Future generations will look back on this decision as a failure of historic proportions. President Trump's decision to withdraw is also a sucker punch to American workers who should be building the next generation of wind turbines and solar panels. Now other countries, including China, our economic rival, will seize the mantle of innovation and clean energy away from America. Listen to this, this astounded me. Just last month, Ernst & Young published the latest edition of a report ranking nations by how attractive they are for renewable energy investment. For the first time, China and India both outrank the United States. So on one of the newer technologies that will ultimately be cheaper than the existing technologies, we are already falling behind and will fall further behind to imagine that China and India are now ranked by Ernst & Young as being better places for renewable energy investment that's not going to help American jobs next year and certainly over the next decade. It's a devastating loss to our economy and the workers who would have benefited greatly from America leading the way forward in a new industry will lose out. Moreover, moreover, if the U.S. doesn't have a seat at the table with the nations in the Paris Agreement, other nations could agree on policies that hurt American businesses and American workers even more than this self-inflicted wound by President Trump. Now, Mr. President, I'm glad that states like my state of New York and cities and businesses across the country are already stepping up, reaffirming their commitment to the goals set in Paris and pledging to continue making progress in the fight against climate change. Our economy and our communities will be better for it. I seriously hope that the President reconsiders his decision for the sake of our planet for the future of the American economy and for the future of American jobs, which thrives on the kind of innovation President Trump has just turned his back on. Thank you, and I yield the floor.